Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Hazel, I'm a ServiceMate partner. Today I'm going to show you how to create an appointment confirmation email within ServiceMate. Email templates can be a great time saver. Saving a few seconds of admin time for every job really adds up, so I recommend making templates for every email you send regularly. If you're not familiar with ServiceMate and you run a business visiting your customers, then I recommend you check it out. There's a link to create a free 14 day trial in the description below. So the first thing you're gonna do is log into your account. Go to settings, then email templates. Click on the add email template button and this will bring up a new window. Template name. So your staff are gonna to need to know what this is. So make sure you call it something short and clear. We're going to call it appointment confirmation. The subject line is what your customer will first see when they receive your email. So again, you'll want to make it nice and clear to let them know what the email is all about. So the message box is where you add the content of your email. The most useful button here is the insert field button. This adds special fields to your emails that pull in specific information from your service mate jobs. So for example, you might want to say hi and add your customer's first name. So type hi, press space, click on insert field and scroll down until you get to customer's job contact first name. This will insert the field you can see that it's a special field because it's got these little curly brackets around it. So you probably already have an appointment confirmation that you usually send to your customers. So go find that and copy it and come back to your message field and paste it in. Here's one I prepared earlier. So I'm going to do Command C or Control C if you're using a Windows computer. And Control or Command V to paste in. Now, a word of warning here, any message that you paste in from somewhere else will have lots of formatting in it already. For example, different fonts or bolding. Um, so you'll want to get rid of any extra formatting. So I would highlight everything. So that's Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac and use this little button here to remove all of the formatting. We're also going to remove these extra uh, returns, carriage returns or spaces that have been inserted. The first thing we're going to do is you want this name to be added dynamically. So we're going to replace John with our customer's job contact first name and I would recommend that you get rid of the comma because if you don't have a first name on your service mate job card if you don't know the contact's first name or you don't know the tenant's first name um, then you don't want high space and nothing to be there and then a comma so we'll take the comma out so that it just says hi if there's no name present okay so it then says thank you for booking your appointment with and we're going to insert your company name here. So hit insert field again and scroll down until you find your company name. And you can see this is added with a field name vendor name. Um, this is pulled from the settings and preferences where your company name is added. So that will ensure that it's correct every time. So we look forward to seeing you on, and this is where we want to insert the date. So again, insert field, and we want next scheduled booking date, and we're gonna pick long format because it looks better. Your engineer will aim to arrive between. So with the time confirmation, we have a number of ways of doing it. As you can see, I've added a few different ways. So we tend to give a range of times, a start time and an end time of arrival. So we're going to select that first couple of X's and we're going to replace that with next scheduled booking time. Now, 
Did you see ServiceMate actually only has one option for timing? So what I tend to do is actually put that in twice and then before the email goes, just manually change it. So either change it to be um, an hour after or maybe two hours after to show the range of times. And we're then going to confirm where we're going to, because again, we've had a couple of situations where a customer has multiple properties and we've gone to the wrong place. So we're gonna insert the job address here, customer's job address. So the other options in terms of timings are, you could put your engineer will arrive within two hours of, and again, use that job next booking time. Or the alternative would be to do potentially two or three different versions of this appointment confirmation template. So you could add appointment confirmation morning and actually create a morning version of your template and an afternoon version and perhaps even an evening version. So you could see that we would do that here and we'd specify the times already and then just send the right template. So for now, we're gonna get rid of these. So should you require any further information or need to make any changes to your appointment, please contact us on. And again, you want your company phone number to be inserted dynamically from your settings. Again, so that if your phone number changes, you can change it in your settings and preferences area once instead of having to come into every email template and manually change it. We're then going to get rid of the signature, the sign off, because that's done automatically and that's added afterwards, depending on who's sending the email. Um, and finally, before I save this, I'm going to highlight all of the really important bits that I want the customer to definitely see. So I'm just going to bold these. I don't want them to miss their booking time. So we're gonna save changes. And actually, I'm just gonna get rid of that morning option. So now I'm gonna show you how that looks. We're gonna look at this particular job because I can see that it has an appointment in, so it's job 101, so I'm gonna open it up, hit new email, appointment confirmation, and you can see, hi Mark, thank you for booking your appointment with John's Plumbing, we look forward to seeing you on the 23rd of March. Now this is what I was talking about, about using the same time, so I'm just gonna manually change this to 10 a.m., confirms the location, it's inserted our phone number, and there's our there's our sign off, there's our email signature. So we just send that off and that's your appointment confirmation. Thanks for watching this video. If there are any other tutorials uh, that you want to see, then just let me know in the comments below. See you next time, bye.